what's good with y'all fellas? Today I'm gonna break down like a an emotional guitar kind of beat, like 2C or Rod Wave or something of that nature. Um, this is a loop from my uh, Lovesick 4 kit. Uh, so go check that out. Go check out Lovesick 5. That's out now. Lovesick 6 will be out tomorrow by the time this drops. So stay tuned for that. And Rod Wave kits, you know, I got a bunch of those. I got a bundle dropping next week. So tap in for that as well. But yeah, this is gonna be that more guitar driven kind of vibe. I know I've done like a bunch of piano ones. This is gonna be guitar focused, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. Alright, so I got the sample loaded up here. I'm gonna break it down one by one. Here I know. Alright, so for BPM, we're at 164. That's like solid. Like, this is my favorite kind of range, 160 to 170 for pain beats. Um, you can push that all the way up to 200, really. Uh, push it all the way down to like 152. I mean, you can even have like the slower ones, like 29 tutorial, but like for this specific sound, like 160 is pretty good. Alright, so I got the uh, main guitar. And yeah, I used Ample Guitars, uh, the semi hollow version, and uh, yeah, just just like basic default preset. Uh, I turned this thing on, which just, uh, it's like a stereo imager, it just makes it wider essentially. Um, and then this is the progression I paid. We're in B minor here, so really just simple chords, sort of up and down the scale. Uh, and then this top line kind of goes up. I use these notes right here, just some like grace notes and stuff. So uh, I'll show you what that sounds like. It's pretty much copy and paste in these four to this four. I just had a few more notes here, just like in between. But uh, yeah, it's pretty spacious actually. I don't, I don't overcrowd it too much, just because like these emotional beats, like someone's gonna sing on it, so they really need the room. Uh, then for effects, nothing crazy. I got the Suze Two right here, uh, and it sets it less mud on the master preset because there's a lot of low end on the sound by default. So I just kind of like took it out a little bit. Alright, so then I rendered out that guitar because there's a bit of delay. So normally when you don't render it out, it's like this and then there's like this blank space and everything's out of time to it. So when you're using the Apple, Apple guitars, guitars like the DSDs, just be wary of that. Alright, for the next sound, I got this sort of lead guitar. It's another Apple guitars. This time it's the Les Paul. Um, and uh, yeah, same kind of stuff right here. I put on the stereo imager, that's what it sounds like. So, yeah, super simple. Um, it's just really to accent the notes from the previous uh, the main guitar. So, if I play them together, that's what it sounds like. Like just kind of stacking them on top of each other and just uh, creating like a more, I guess a more complex chord in a way. Yeah, and then I rendered that out too because of the same same reason as this. Uh, it's another Apple guitar, guitar, you know. And then for that, I just got the reverb, and that's it. Okay, next up, I got another sort of leader guitar. This time it's from Contact. It's the Evolution Jazz Arch Top. Bank. And I'm I'm gonna be honest. So my contact's kind of bugged right now. So every time I open it, it doesn't save the like it just bugs out and crashes. So I have to reload it. So I don't know if I use this exact snapshot. But I know this is my favorite, so I probably used it. But it might not sound exactly the same as the beat you're gonna hear later. So um, yeah, but this is what the this is what it sounds like. It's kind of like a freestyle pretty much. Um, yeah, for a lot of these pain beats, you don't just want to re repeat like four bars or like two bars or whatever. I've kind of mentioned that before, but I mean, you could do that if you have a really catchy, like 
really catchy uh, two bar sort of loop thing, but for, like the lead, I generally like vary it up a little bit and then yeah, I use the legato here. Oh, I also should mention I move the notes manually, like using all of them, just kind of crazy like that. And then for effects on that, I have a pancake just left to right just for the mix, so there's more space in the mix. And a uh, uh, vintage for just for some reverb right here. Then I got a pad from Omnisphere. I took out this pad from uh, Faro Vice's Nostalgia Bank. Uh, it's this one right here. I don't, I don't know what that means, but uh, yeah, just pretty much copy the chords essentially, and that's what it sounds like. Just copy the chords and um, it's got like a little bit of attack to it even though it's a pad so it's kind of like a, like a key sort of pad and uh just, yeah i wanted to make it pretty ambient and just again layer a little more uh and then for effects just got the vintage verb on that then i got the bass another ample guitar sound so there's not too much delay on this which is why i didn't render it out but yeah just the uh, apple bass um then i decided to keep it simple sometimes you can do a lot more just a lot more notes here and just make it really like groovy and stuff uh, i just want to keep it simple since i already had quite a few like leads uh, a bunch of other stuff just i don't want too much sensory overload i guess so uh yeah that's what the bass sounds like Following those bass notes, I uh, randomized it a little bit, just not too much because then you can't really hear it. But yeah, no effects on that. Then I have these vocals right here. These are from a splice pack. Uh, it's from 91 vocal splice pack. Uh, yeah, I just got off splice and then this is what it sounds like. And I just use that in the downbeat every time to uh, sort of accent the uh, start of every four bars, uh, just like a nice ambient sort of sound, just to signify like it's the next four bars type of thing. It's not really the main vocal, it's more of an accent, but yeah, then for effects, got a Sooth 2 on it, just uh, take out a little bit of that high end. Pancake again, uh, this time I have it on half actually. Yeah, so it's actually panning left right within half a bar, so yeah, pretty fast because it's just so short, so. Uh, I turned it down. So um, yeah, then I have a EQ, a uh, pretty harsh EQ obviously. I do this all the time, I'll show you what it sounds like without the EQ. So you can just hear like a ton of distortion on that without the EQ and I just turn it down with it. And then obviously the vintage verb that's pretty usual. And finally we have this vocal hook, which is for sure the best part. I mean, vocals are always the best part, like my favorite part of these loops. And yeah, it's again, I think, from the same pack. Yeah, so it's, it's from another 91 vocals pack, but yeah, just, you can just get those off splice to understand uh, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, so I didn't chop it or anything, just Chucked it in, thought it sounded good as it was. I had to pitch it to the right pitch, and B minor. So for that, got the vintage verb, you already know. Got like a little bit of delay on that, nothing too crazy, pretty delay. I got auto tune because this bitch can't sing. No, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, just to like fix it a little bit, I just threw a little bit of auto tune on there because it was like a little rough without it. It's pretty subtle, but yeah. Then I got pancake two um, on that, just uh, two bar standard. Uh, then I got the super high EQ, so without it. Too much high end. More ambient that way, so we're good. And uh, I kind of like a lot of, like, the low is more harsh than using this EQ. And that's pretty much it, but uh, yeah, so that's the loop right there. Um, so, like, a lot of different instruments, but like, doing nothing crazy on the mixer. It's really all about getting that first guitar right and everything just kind of falls into place out of that. So yeah, I'm gonna get onto the beat now. So I took out the beat right here. Um, let's just get into these drums as you can see. Not too too many, just, uh, just a very simple beat. Um, yeah, here's all it is. So I got this snare clap right here because I wanted this to be like intense, kind of like emotional sort of beat. You can use like snap sometimes. I can use like claps, I just wanted this to be heavy, so yeah, it's just this. 
And by the way, this is all for my upcoming drum kit out next week, out next Saturday, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, next sound is this hi-hat. Um, I got a few rolls as you can see, but it's nothing insane, just like a little bit of, just a little bit here and there, so this is what that sounds like. So yeah, so um, I used the cardiac I had. You could use any hi hat really. That's sort of like in the mainstream. So the hit one, the red hi hat, up to you really. But yeah, I just use this cardiac one. I, I thought it sounded good. But um, uh, yeah. Then I just used a bunch of like uh, sixth rolls and some third rolls, and yeah, pretty much just those. Just the the triplet uh, bounce sounds better than to me than just going half or quarters because I mean it's different from what you have going on just the center two step. It's more unique that way I guess to the to what you're doing for the rest of the eight bars. And then uh yeah so I threw a mix preset on with this EQ. That's nothing crazy. But uh then I got the loop raider right here. And yeah I saved this preset to my last uh to my last high hat MIDI kit so if you cop that 100 percent free then yeah, you'll you'll have this one. But uh, here's what the hi hat sound like without the loop raider. I'll just play four bars too. And with it. So yeah, I'll just explain each of these individually. Uh, this is a reverse, for example. You probably probably know all about reversing hi hats by now. They're pretty common, but um. Yeah, just uh, like a straight reverse, like um, forward reverse. Yeah, the most generic one. This is super subtle. It's just like a low pass filter. So the high dips like a tiny bit right before the reverse. And I have no idea why I did that. I think I was just experimenting. To be honest, I'm gonna use this too often for hats anyway. So I was trying new stuff. This was like that little roll thing you heard. It's tonal delay. Uh, yeah, this constant tonal delay right here. Uh, I turned this down quite a bit. Otherwise, super annoying. But Kind of roll is the uh, is that, and then yeah, the main the main thing for me is probably the reverb. And when it, when I play it with a clap, it's kind of like the clap. It's kind of like the snare has like a bit of reverb on it too. You can't really tell the difference, but uh, yeah, the snare still hits, and the hat gets the reverb. So it's like a it's a good it's a good way to still have your snare hitting like not removing the attack and then have that kind of reverby sound too. So yeah, then turn the mix down quite a bit again. In other words, it's obnoxious, but uh, yeah, anyway, moving on, got this uh, open hat. Yeah, so it just does that. Um, and I got the envelope on, you already know, probably said this in all my videos, but yeah, I got the envelope on right here and it cuts, cuts off like, like a little bit before the clap, just uh, just for like extra bounce, I guess, because it's kind of generic, just doing that. That's cool. I, I like this stuttered sort of bounce right here. Especially since there's another open hat, like right after the clap anyway, so. Next is this 808, and uh, it's just the spins, like a boosted ass spin, so here's what that sounds like. So yeah, it's sort of busy for this kind of beat. A lot of pain beats don't have like a lot of 808s just kind of like this crazy, but uh, I, like I said, I wanted it to be kind of like intense. So I had like a little, a few more 808s. And yeah, for like a few of the unique things about it, you have this reversing 808s. I don't know if I've ever explained this before, but this is the technique. This is the same technique they use in the box. If you've seen the Genius video, you might know. But uh, yeah, essentially to get this effect, all you do is, I have a 808 just as long as you want. Alt A to articulate it, arpeggiate or whatever you want. And then you can just hit Alt O and then the velocities will go like that. Make sure you cut your 808 to other sonic shit. So yeah, make sure that is ticked. Otherwise you don't want it not ticked. But yeah, that's the reversing 808. So yeah, it sounds better at lower, uh, lower notes play too high it'll sound like kind of shitty but next thing is this right here i guess 
that's just something I like doing my beats. I've definitely talked about this, but yeah, that's just pretty simple. The envelope's on and then at the clap, I just have it for like one step and then it just adds that little bit of bounce right there. Do that in quite a few of my beats, just personally. But yeah, that's it for the 808. Then, uh, yes, yeah, so I got a snare right here and just a very generic snare pattern. Uh, I like this pattern for the high BPM sort of beats, so that's what it sounds like. Pretty much that, um, and yeah, I mean that's the drums essentially. And then all I add is just your risers and stuff. So another riser from my kid is Pain Crash. Uh, so yeah, you hear this a lot in Pain Beats. So, uh, so I'll just play this whole intro actually. So yeah, it's way smoother with this like little riser thing, and you hear that you hear this a lot. Um, this is another one from my kit. I have a preset which is in the kit, which will help it sound better. So yeah, just a bunch of reverb. This delay right here, pretty like strong delay. Like I removed a little bit of low end because there's a little bit of low end just generally with that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I removed the loop writer for the first half of the verse, so it's just the hats like on by themselves, no effects. Yeah, I mean that's the beat. So um, yeah, check out Love Six Four and Five. Yeah, those are already out. Love Six Six is out very soon. I'm drawing my Hard Times bundle next week, so that's gonna be cool. All 30 Rod Wave loops I did for a uh, cheaper price, so that's gonna be hard. This drum kit is gonna be 100% free. The EXO files out next Saturday. This is gonna be. I'm, I'm fucking excited for this, bro. This is gonna be hype, bro. You're all gonna have this. Everyone on the planet is gonna have this. Your mom, your dad, your dog, everyone's gonna be using this drum kit, bro. It's gonna be great. But um, yeah, it's been nice catching you guys. Uh, stay looped in and peace.